Hey everyone, it's Babyboy1012 and today I'm bringing you another PS Vita video and how the PlayStation Vita works well functionally with the PlayStation 4, yes. As you can see, I have the PlayStation 4 that I have pre uh, mentioned in my last previous video and I've been enjoying the PlayStation 4 since it's been released. Now, the PlayStation Vita works amazingly and beautifully with the PS4. It's compatible with Remote Play and Sony did deliver it once again. I'm going to show you guys that the Remote Play feature on the PlayStation Vita works smoothly and a lot better than a lot better than you can have thought of than from the Remote Play by using the PlayStation 3. Now, I'm going to put in my password really quickly cuz I have a password protected on my Vita. So, as you guys can see, I've been playing a lot of Need for Speed and a lot of Assassin's Creed and Black Light Retribution. I also have Madden 25 and a couple other games. So, as you can see, as you can see here, I have the PS Vita. It's already set up. I'm just going to bring the uh, the brightness down really quickly so that way you guys can see it. Um so right before we can go ahead, let's go to right here to the PlayStation uh, 4 application so that way you can link it. So instead of this other features for certain games that you can uh, play, have the second screen as uh, the Vita as a map or some other stuff that I haven't yet tested out. But I have did use the uh, the remote play on the PlayStation Vita with the PS4. As you can see, it has now been officially has been connected. I don't care if you guys know my name. So as you can see, the PlayStation Vita has fully been linked with the PS4. Now, some of you are going to be asking, how does the Vita work well knowing the fact it doesn't have an L2 and R2 button? Or the 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 possibility of the fact that it doesn't have an R3 or an L3. Well, Sony did that of this ahead. So by using the back panel on the PlayStation Vita, they have made the, the possibility that two two parts of the top will be used as the L2 and R and L2, and the bottom parts are used as the L2. I mean L3 and R3. So let's get let's get going on the PlayStation Vita now. So in order, to let me have Assassin's Creed right here. It works for any game that you can do on the Vita, except you cannot live stream any gameplay directly because by using the Vita, so you won't be able to um, live stream or anything. So let's get into this really quickly. Um, let's go play Assassin's Creed Four on the PlayStation Vita. As you can see, uh, that I'm clearly starting up Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag on the PlayStation 4 by using the PlayStation Vita. Uh, let's say, for example, if uh, since I know my my girlfriend, she comes in from time to time when she's not busy, she wants to watch her TV shows. You see. He as you can see, the, they, they explain to you what you can use the PS Vita. As you can use the back as the L1 and R1. The the back pads are going to be L1 and R1, and the trigger buttons are going to be the L2 and R2 buttons. And at the bottom parts of the screen will be used as L3 and R3. Tap the on touchpad to be open map and scroll around. So that's good. I'm glad that Ubisoft has brings that up in front of of the uh, starting screen. I have never seen it that's how I'm going to want to do this with you guys so you guys can see it first at hand. So let's go back on the PlayStation Vita. It takes a while for the game to load for some reason because it loves to detect. So let's go to the continue. I am 94% of the game complete. It's been taking me a while I got, got I got stuck fi looking for for the elite fire barrel upgrade. Some people's been saying, "Oh well, you gotta find a treasure map." But yet yeah, I found all the treasure maps. But oh well. Oh, 
So now that we see the actual Vita working fine, so let's go. I'm assuming you can use this. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's go to right here. Fast travel. As you can see now we got the actual game going now on a Vita. So let's see how this works. Okay, by tapping the right bottom corner on the Vita, it does allow you to use Eagle Vision. Now let's see if you know how you wanna reset the camera by it goes right here, you just tap this right here. They did mention that you can use this right here. This is going to be the L2 button, so you're going to be seeing me trying to make a jump. So, as you can see, there is no frame rate drop or whatsoever on the PlayStation Vita while doing the, the uh, remote play on Assassin's Creed. You can also do this with Need for Speed Rivals, Madden 25, even Battlefield 4. I know you can also do it with Call of Duty Ghosts, but since I don't have the game, I really can't say. Wrestle Gun, uh, Don't Starve, and Outlast also has this feature as well, and many more games to come. So I'm hoping to see maybe the possibility of MLB 14 to show can have this feature as well. Uh, this is it for me from Baby Boy 1012, and I wanted to let you guys you can actually do a uh, remote play with the PlayStation Vita on the with the PS4. That is me. Till the next video. See you guys on the next video.